All right, this goes out to you moms out there again, and really parents in general. Does it feel like the idea of meditation means that you just have to add one more thing into your already jam-packed to-do list, one more obligation and thing to do? Well, if that is the case for you, get ready to think again. Today, we're going to talk about how you can creatively transform little snippets of your day into real meditative moments of magic and make meditation doable for you, even when you're a busy parent. What we'll talk about today is the misconceptions about meditation that keep us moms away from it. Why just three to five minutes can be super transformative for you. We'll discuss alternative and mom-friendly ways that you can meditate while you're multitasking and while you're doing your daily life, as well as some tangible benefits of we this into your daily life and how these little meditative moments are going to create more time for you. Pretty cool, huh? I personally know that when we experience times of overwhelm as a parent or as a mom, as a wife, as a business owner, that we can experience some resignation or some resistance around taking the time to meditate. And I'm a meditation teacher, so I totally get how this works. I really get how the way that we imagine meditation to look like can actually be the very barrier that keeps us from creating that peace and productivity that we really crave and that meditation gives us. We can can do meditation during noisy playtime, when we're doing the dishes, when we're doing quiet cuddles with our kids. And these little moments can be transformed into something that's really beneficial for you and for the entire family. Okay, so let's jump right in to debunking some of these really horrible meditation myths that really create a lot of resistance for most of us. This is the barrier that is right here in our minds, because most of us think that meditation's hard to do, that we have to stop our thoughts, empty our mind, be totally still, that we need a quiet room or a dark room alone for a long period of time. And it is not true at all. You do not need a quiet place, dark place. You do not need a lot of time. You simply need to learn how to welcome all of your thoughts, sounds, sensations, everything that you experience. And that means when you're in a noisy place or with your children or there's a lot of activity going on, more is better because it's going to train your capacity to hold more in your awareness, which is actually the skill that we really need as parents. When we have the capacity to hold more in our awareness, we are less overwhelmed by having a lot on our plate. So here's some creative tips to help you make meditation a little more mom friendly for you. Tip one, make it short and sweet. Even three to five minutes can be super powerful. A lot can happen in that time. Tip two, make integrated meditative moments throughout your day. That means work it into your day, into your activities. You have so many moments throughout the day that could be turned into meditation, whether you realize it or not, such as eye gazing with your baby or being fully present with your kids when they talk, when they play, feeling your body sensations as you walk, as you do the dishes, as you do chores. You could practice sending loving kindness wishes towards your family and yourself as you're cuddling your child at nap time or when they're going to bed. You could label your thoughts, your moods, your emotions throughout the day as you're doing activities. You can connect to how much your body loves the elements when you're drinking a glass of water or when you're gardening and connected to the earth or when you're feeling the fresh air as you're going for a walk with your family or walking the dog. When you set the intention to shift your consciousness to be more present, what is happening within me? What is happening around me? And can I be more present? and alive for that. When we practice meditation this way, it has so many transformative benefits. One is that we get to create a sanctuary within ourselves and meditation becomes this nurturing space where we give back to ourselves, where we're kind to ourselves, where we're relaxing tension periodically throughout the day, releasing our never-ending to-do list and bringing our attention to something that we love or someone that we love for a few minutes each day more fully. It also gives us more back in terms of time. Meditation can fit into our life, not the other way around. <laughs> it doesn't have to be at a certain time. It can be any time that works for you, even if it's just a few minutes scattered throughout your day. When we practice meditation like this, it actually makes us more efficient and more empathetic. Did you know that? So these moments can help us not only be calmer, but also more focused and more productive because we enhance our decision-making abilities when our stress is lower. It also makes us more kind and loving and trains our capacity to be present for our loved ones. So essentially, we are getting back more time than we are putting in to meditation in our day. So I want you to know that meditation for us busy moms should be adapted for us. So it's not another chore on the to-do list. It doesn't have to fit into the traditional boxes of what we think meditation should look like. And when we do this creatively, it's not another chore. It's an incredibly rewarding 
way that adds more quality to our time in our life with our loved ones and to the time that we spend with ourselves. So here's one takeaway for you, one action item this week. Just choose one daily activity, showering, walking, nap times, playing, cooking, whatever you want, but turn it into a three to five minute meditative moment for yourself. One where you're present, where you let yourself fully feel and acknowledge everything that's going on within you and around you. And you remember to breathe. 